NBA 2K23 is finally here, bro. And I think this Slasher Sharpshooter is literally going to break NBA 2K23 already. Now, I know y'all want me to get straight to the builder, but make sure y'all get this video to 5,000 likes and I will drop the gameplay on this build. Trust me, bro. It is so fire. I've been going crazy. And also, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. I'm racing my good friend BDG to 200k subscribers and I cannot let him beat me, bro. He's got a pretty big lead on me. But with all that being said, let me show you this build. All right, so this is what the builder starts off as. First name, Zach. Last name. So y'all already know what's going on for the position. I originally wanted to go with shooting guard, but then I realized we get more strength at the small forward position. Now, you might be like, Zach, why do we need strength? This build is made to abuse Hall of Fame bully badge and we cannot get it the way I wanted it if we're a shooting guard. So we're going to go with small forward. Handedness and jersey number. It's up to you completely. I'm going to just go with whatever, but I like my players left-handed. For the height, I'm going to drop this down to six foot six, and we're actually going to go almost all the way maxed out to 246 pounds. And we actually have to lower our wingspan down by one to get our strength to a 95 so we can actually unlock the Bully Badger Hall of Fame. Body shape, I would go with Burley just because it's funny, but it's entirely cosmetic. It doesn't really matter. And boom, here we are, probably with one of the most complex builders I've ever seen. A lot of other YouTubers might have rushed their build to get it out before other people, but I took my time so y'all know this is a Zach 2K certified demigod build. But if you don't know much about this builder, let me explain how it's complex. Basically, you could upgrade one stat, let's just say ball handle, and it upgrades all these other stats. I didn't touch my pass accuracy, speed with ball, driving layup, close shot, speed, acceleration, any of that it is still upgraded. So that's kind of an example of what I mean by the builder being complex. But now that we got all the explaining out of the way, let's hop into the attributes. Now you actually want to start with your physicals on basically every build you make, because a lot of times you're making a build and you're thinking it's a demigod, but oh, you forgot your stamina. Oh, you forgot your speed and it just ruins the whole experience. So before you forget, start with your physicals. And we're going to start by upgrading our speed to a 77. Now, don't freak out. Don't do it. The reason it's only a 77 is because our speed with ball is going to be very high. And that's what we really are here for. Now, Rexel, we're going to bump this up to a 68. Again, speed with ball is going to carry. Don't freak out. But main reason I made this build so fat is because of the strength. So we're going to max that out at a 95. And for the vertical, we're actually going to get this to a 75 right here. Now, the reason we do this is so we can get the contact dunks off one and off two. If you only go to a 70, you get the off two packages without the off ones. And for the stamp, I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if there's gym rat this year, but I'm going to put this at a 95. So just in case there is, we can still get that 99 stamina if there is gym rat. But now on to the fun part, the attributes. We're going to start off with our driving dunk. We're going to get this to an 84 to unlock contact dunks. But before we start upgrading everything else, one thing I do have to explain to you, badges are very, very important. I'll explain more about it once we finish the upgrades. But we're going to be shooting for 18 finishing badges so we can get everything we could possibly need to make the slashing really, really good on this build. So we're going to upgrade our driving driving layup to an 87 right here and we're gonna upgrade our driving layup to a 75 which boom now gives us 18 finishing badges now under the shooting this is probably the most important part about this build i literally called it a slashing sharpshooter for this reason so we're gonna go one away from max on the shooting the reason we didn't go max the only badge you get from it is um i think it's hall of fame catch and shoot which isn't really too important for my play style if y'all want maybe you can finesse it in after we're done with the rest of the attributes but this is what i'm going with and also we're gonna put up our free throw to a 70 so if we're playing wreck my career, it's still gonna hit them pretty consistently. And again, like I said, with the finishing, this is the perfect amount of badges to shoot great on this type of build. I really thought all this shit out, man. I'm telling you, we got the perfect amount of badges, attributes, all that. So trust me, I got y'all with the best slasher sharpshooter, bro. Don't worry. Now for the playmaking, we can't make a demigod. The dribbling isn't gonna be too crazy. We're not gonna get like a 90 ball control, but I was able to finesse up to an 85 ball control, which unlocks almost every single drill move in the game. So we're just gonna put this up right here, getting it to an 85, which also unlocks silver handles for days now you might be like zach that's pretty low but a lot of builds are going to be a right around that level so that's just the best we could get and like i was talking about earlier we are going to have a high speed with ball so we're going to upgrade this to an 84 right here which also would have given us quick first step but we already have the 85 ball handle so it doesn't really matter and on top of that 16 play making badges which is the perfect amount to get everything you need on this build now for the defense we're only going to get 13 defensive badges but there's actually a my career quest where you can get four extra badges of your choice so what i'm going to do is throw them on my defense so in the builder is not going to say 17 but once you complete the quest we're going to have 17 badges and if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm gonna link the video on how to get the badges in the description under this video so you guys can check that out if you don't know what i'm talking about but back to the attributes 55 interior defense i already think is pretty good so i'm just gonna leave it like that our perimeter defense we're gonna get this to an 86 which actually 
unlock silver clamps, which is perfect for us, right? I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of weird how high your perimeter defense has to be just to get silver clamps. But hey man, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Now for the block, we're gonna get this to a 70 rating right here. And the reason why that is, is so we can get like the rim protector type of badge. I think it's just called anchor this year. As you guys can see, 70 block, which unlocks the anchor badge. But now to top off the defense, we're just gonna upgrade our defensive rebound to a 59 and boom. That's it for the attributes. The build's looking pretty nice. 18, 24, 16, and soon to be 17 defensive badges but now one of the takeover if you guys are new to the next gen you can switch these around whenever so it's not permanent don't stress too much over it but the first one i'm gonna go with is finishing moves so we can get the contact dunks and then my secondary takeover which loads up second i'm gonna put spot up precision and as you guys can see we're gonna hit continue right here my player build complete yes and we have built oh shit i haven't really seen this cutscene before i don't even know what the villain name is an inside out score tell me that name ain't fire i'm actually very happy with that but don't click off the video yet now we're gonna go with the best badge you can use on this build and see why i upgraded what i upgraded so if you guys are new to next gen each badge is not always as many badge points as you would think for example if you have fearless finisher on bronze it costs three badge points because it's a tier two badge but if you want to put out let's say acrobat it would only cost one badge point so now y'all are probably starting to understand why i went with this many badges but to start off we're gonna spend five attribute points to get our fearless finisher to gold and we're gonna use another four to get master on silver and as you can see in the tier 3 category you need to equip at least 10 points between one and two tiers to unlock your tier 3 badges so i'm just going to use acrobat on bronze to give me to that 10 points so we can unlock the tier 3 badges and this is where the magic happens so we go to bully badge and we want to put this on hall of fame right but that costs eight badge points so we're going to press triangle to core the badge and once we continue it doesn't spend any of our badge points that we have so as y'all can see we still have eight badge points available which we're going to use to put on our limitless takeoff on silver silver which takes six attributes and now we can put pro touch on silver which will finally use all of our finishing attributes hopefully that all made sense to you guys and you can kind of understand why i put my badges in certain categories and i'm gonna do it with shooting up next so we're gonna start off with space creator on gold right here along with green machine on silver now we've used nine points total so i'm just gonna throw on guard up bronze and now we unlock the tier three badges so now i'm gonna make agent three a core badge so here we go we put it on and we still have 14 badge points available so we're also gonna put on blinders and on top of all this that we're gonna put on limitless range now a lot of good shooting builds this year will not have anywhere close to as many shooting badges as this build so i think this build is gonna be absolutely insane but now onto the plan making we're gonna get our quick first step on gold obviously and we're gonna do the same thing for unpluckable and those both costed five now we unlock the tier three badge i'm sure you guys are kind of understanding what we're doing now and we're gonna put our handles for days on silver and now we're gonna head over to tier three and make our handles for days a core badge so we don't even have to use any of those points so we can also use the clamp break badge which basically gives you free blow by so we're gonna put that on silver as well and i think that paired with bully and our 95 strength is going to be insanely broken so now y'all understand why i put these badge attributes on these very specific numbers now, i can't really show you guys what i would do with the defensive badges because i don't have the plus four badges for my career yet but i think i explained it well enough to where you guys can do it on your own again let's try and hit 5,000 likes on this video so i could post some gameplay on this build and if you're watching this video after day one of 2k23 hey the video is already out man click it on screen right here and i'll catch you guys over there man peace